Khabib Eagle Nurmagomedo versus Max Bless Holloway. Khabib right now is a UFC lightweight champion of the world. He's an incredible grappler, and recently he dominated the legend Conor McGregor and sold an amazing 2.4 million pay-per-view buys. Khabib Nurmagomedov is 27-0. He has the longest winning streak in mixed martial arts, and he's a UFC champion. He's faced the best of the best in the Ultimate Fighting Championship and completely dominated them. He's a two-time world Sambo champion. He's also a champion in the European Army, hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's a no-key expert welterweight world champion and the ADCC no-key expert welterweight champion. He's a master in pancreation. He's a, a mega force in every single aspect of fighting, of mixed martial arts. Khabib is the absolute best. Max Holloway recently fought an incredible fight. He's won 13 fights in a row, and he's the featherweight champion of the UFC right now. This would be an incredible super fight. Max Holloway fought at 155 pounds. He's fought at lightweight. These two are, two are the best in the world, and there's no denying that. Khabib is, is a master of taking his opponent down to the ground and beating the living you-know-what out of them. And that's what he does, and he does it to all of them. He does it in every single round. In every single piece of the fight, we see Khabib smashing his opponent, even talking to them, putting fear into their heads, mind-messing them, and letting them know that they could never even get close to beating them. While Max Holloway does the same thing on his feet, he's a master of stand-up. He hits his opponent so many times, it's unfathomable. They get hit from every single direction, from not only his fists, from his feet, he's fury, and, and his... His fists and his feet are off the hook. He's gonna hit you so many times with them. And that's what we saw in his last fight. Brian T-City Ortega, an amazing fighter, a guy who was undefeated and did amazing things in mixed martial arts, was annihilated by Max Holloway. His life will never be the same. His career will never be the same. His mind will never be the same. Max Holloway messed this guy up in every single aspect of life. And that's what kind of fighter he is. He is on fire. And in that fourth round after the doctors had to stop it, Max Holloway screamed, keep going. And he wanted to keep going. He wanted another fight. Max Holloway is ready for more. I want to ask you guys, the fans of mixed martial arts, how you feel about this incredible fight between a grappler of expert calibration Khabib Nurmagomedov versus a striker of ultimate fury, Max Holloway. I, I think this would be the most incredible fight we could see right now. And, and the Ultimate Fighting Championship has been doing amazing things, putting on really amazing super fights. This fight was supposed to happen at UFC 223. There were four cancellations. The doctors wouldn't let Max go into this fight. So this is a fight that the fans have already been attracted to and they were already salivating for. The fans wanted to see Max Holloway, the master, on his feet, take on a guy who could just crunch you, take you down to the ground like a truck and just run you over. This would be absolutely incredible to see the Hawaiian striker take on the first Russian and Islamic UFC champion. I, I would be going absolutely crazy. And I know you fans would be too. Max has a 69 inch reach. He'd be the taller man. He's 5 foot 11. Khabib has a 70 inch reach. This would be the master super fight. Who wins, Max or Khabib?